Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. It's Zell58 and last we left off we uh, started the Lion War. And based off of this this part here, it sounds like this is maybe a few weeks or a few months into the actual war. So some time has passed. And look, oh, it's the Marquis. So he's on this side of the battle. So, you know, it's just a couple of, of advisors talking about, you know, how the war was going, and it seems like a pretty even match uh, with about the same amount of casualties. And, okay, so now... Okay, 100,000 refugees. We're talking about a lot of people that are involved in this war over who the successor is. You wouldn't think that a lot of these people would really care about who the successor was, but... Goltana and uh, Larg have a lot writing on who is actually running the country. And like Orlando is like the only one that is like trying to like, like be reasonable about this. Like, hey, you know, this shouldn't we shouldn't be at war. Like, let's just end this. People are dying, man. What would you have me do? Hmm. It's not for the people. It's for your own selfish ambitions. Just a little longer before it's over. One they used to call TG Sid or Thunder God Sid. Which I don't really understand why he'd ever be called Thunder God. I mean, like I said, a spoiler, like. One of his abilities is the same ability that Agrius has, the Lightning Stab. Uh, other than that, I don't see why you would call him a Thunder God. He doesn't even look like it. And we start a new chapter. Chapter 3, The Valiant. Hmm. There is a big tide. I really wish the text in this could go faster. They think that like six year olds play this game or something. If this age of war is the big tide, like a fate we can't avoid. Yeah, because all six year olds sound just like that. <laughs> definitely feel like, yeah, they, I mean, if Delita says that he is the one going against the Tide, I think even more so Zell and his, his, you know, team of, of people, they definitely go against the Tide. Alright, so we get a couple new spots to go. Oh, and we get a fur shop, which I'll explore later in a uh, episode. But uh, essentially, you just need to kill enough uh, enemies, and you'll be able to get some items. It's way more than that. Uh, you use the secret hunt ability. If you beat a monster, you can take it to a fur shop. It uh, can be very useful, and like I said, I'll explore that more in a future episode because there are some good things you can get out of it and you should know about it because you know you just should <laughs> so we get a whole bunch of new things to buy just gonna shop around real quick love the flame shield flame shield is very useful because you can absorb fire uh, there's also like a light, uh, ice shield but um, oh and we can finally buy X potions but basically, like, that just is so useful because you can have a black mage on your party using fire to kill everyone else, yet it will heal, like, your party members so they can be in, you know, in the firing range, so to say. Alright, this next battle can be tough. You want to have your party be able to uh, go over heights really easily and be able to fire from a distance. 
That's why I kept Dreamer as a chemist, and I believe I made Mustadio a chemist too. Um, in my opinion, this fight can be pretty tough um, if you can't get stuff going for you. If that makes sense. So, there is Owan, although we haven't really heard his name yet. Uh, looks like he is trying to escape a thieves hideout. Yeah, Owan. Owan is amazing. He... Next to that princess spell, he has the most powerful spell in the game. Actually, his spell is probably more powerful than that spell in the game. It is... It is amazing. You'll see. So it's our goal to save him. Uh, which, like I said, it can be tough. Because if his spell isn't successful uh, the first go, he could be in some trouble. Alright. Come on, come on, work it. So we're just facing off against some thieves and some chemists, and it's female thieves, so if you have a lot of female fighters, it's the time to use them. If you haven't already been using them. Probably should have thrown Taku in. Oh well. Hmm. Alright, and that's our first mediator that we actually face. He's taking forever. What is he thinking about? Mediators, yeah, they're a pretty decent class. Uh, be sure to to go with them in detail. They're, they're, they have some useful things. Let's see here. We should probably try to take the charm off. Yeah. 36, that's not a whole bunch of damage. That's worth it to me. So far, Olan is safe. Let's see. That's what you get for charming me, lady. Let's see here. Oh boy. Oh man. That really just, uh, that really sucks. <laughs> that he couldn't make it over there. Let's see. Yeah, oh, 97%. That sounds good. Let's see. Lightning, stab it up. Oh, that would have been too awesome. Alright, and she's down for the count. Come on, Olan. Destiny lies in my hand. Stop movement. Galaxy, stop! Oh, yeah. Check this spell out. It it causes don't act, stop, and don't move on the entire enemy party. You cannot you cannot tell me that there's a, a better spell than that. You you get a successful uh, attack on that, and I mean you just you you win. <laughs> Not only that, but it doesn't cost any MP for him to do that. So he can do that as many times as he wants throughout the match. So that's what I'm saying. If that wasn't successful, if it missed on, on too many of these enemies, then he could have been in a bad spot really quickly. So if you do have trouble with this fight, don't worry. Um, you know, a second go and it should work. Uh, Olan's playing pretty smart here. He got down. I've, you know, I've played through this game many times, and there's sometimes he'll just stay up there and, you know, wait for the enemies to jump up there and start killing them. Not very bright. So, we take this opportunity to try to kill as many of these people that are uh, stopped. Um, that way we don't have to worry about them. Dang it. 
the MP switch is useful, but at the same time, it's nice to be able to uh, do that. I also love that it shows all 12 uh, Zodiac symbols uh, very briefly there. Just a really cool spell. Or ability, I guess, since it doesn't use any MP. Right, would you still call it a spell if it doesn't use up MP? That's a good question. Dang. 80 damage with a fire one? Not too bad. Yeah, let's use crush. We haven't used that. Oh boy. I've never seen that do that. That's awesome. Nice. 105. Fire. Fire. Nice. Let's see here. Yeah, he attacks with a, with a dictionary, if I'm not mistaken. Charge one? Really with that? That's weird. But okay, I'll go with it. The, the books... Yeah, cool idea, but I never got into using them just because their range is really strange. It's only in that, you know, three square radius. Uh, you can't do any closer, any farther, and... I don't know, I just don't have the patience for something like that. There we go. Yeah, sorry for shooting you. Thought you were being a bastard. Oh, I remember a few episodes back I was saying, you know, you just aim just in front of them. In this case, you have to think he's aiming higher, so less likely for the uh, line of fire. Eh, it's okay, no big deal. Sword up your face! And there we pretty much have it. In the books. That was easy. Thankfully. Nice. Good job. And unfortunately, this is the only fight where Olan is actually going to be in it. Um... Uh, and no one else uses that ability. Thank God. If I faced off against an enemy that knew that spell, or that ability, I'd be really pissed off. Yeah, you're welcome for being saved. Oh, and he's surprised that it's a Bavel. But it, that makes sense, because, you know, they, they are on the opposing side. But little does Alon know that, that Zell isn't like his brothers. But, uh, see? You never know who you're gonna be able to help. You never know, like, what bridges you build that really help out. Well, folks, next episode, we will hopefully talk to our brother Zalbag and, uh, and, uh, let him know about this conspiracy. Until then, this is Zell58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and I will see you later. Bye.